Alright, so after a long hiatus from this challenge, I have returned. And what I'm doing right now is I need to get Pure Black World Tendency in this world before I face Manage, just for completion purposes. So I'm going to be killing myself. <laughs> And then I'll try to beat this level and go after the man-eaters. Which is probably going to be one of the hardest parts of this challenge. Pretty, they're a difficult fight when you don't try. I'm going to try and fight them legit. not going to use the arrow trick that most people probably know of by now. Where you can kill the first one before the fight even starts. Which makes it a lot easier. Especially for a soul level 1 character. Because on a regular character you can afford to just kind of like go, you know, go full on and just do as much damage as you can on the first one in hopes that you kill him before the second one appears, but in a soul level 1 character, you generally can only get hit, you know, like once at a time, so if you make any mistake, you either have to just not make any mistakes after that, or, you know, take the time to get your second chance back up, which takes a decent amount of time. And, you know, that's more time that the second one will show up. So you got to be really careful. You can't just go in swinging and expect to, you know, make it happen. Ah! I'm going to have to kill myself quite a few times because it was, like, pure white. Probably, I think, because the uh, online tendency is doing that. Although I'm offline right now, so I'm, I'm not sure exactly how that was pure white. Because I know for a fact when I first did this, I made it sure all of them were pure bl uh, black. But of course, you know, just beating a level makes it more pure white. Oh, it was pro just killing? I actually don't remember that. I don't remember if killing uh, unique name BPs makes the world pure white. It might, actually. I don't remember. Although it'd probably only be for that world. Now oh, I'm just rambling now, but I guess it don't matter. Just get it pure black. This level is not particularly difficult. It's just kind of long. It's like one of the longest levels in the game just because of how much, you know, like, roundabout pass it forces you to take and how you don't get the shortcut to the very end, and it's just, it's just kind of, it's actually kind of one of my least favorite levels in when I'm replaying the game, just because the enemies themselves aren't very interesting. A lot of them you can just run away from. And the level definitely looks cool, but it's, it gets very tedious, this level. It's, it drags. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully I just breeze through it. And then that's another annoying thing about it. There'll be times where, you know, you're right at the end about to get a shortcut. And, you know, you slip off a ledge. You die. You have to do it all over again. It's pretty annoying, but oh well. Alright, I'll kill myself one more time. Then check if it's pure black. I think that was five. It's generally, I think, seven to get from pure white to pure black, I think. I don't think it was in pure white. Alright, so I gotta go to the Nexus to check. My strategy for the man eaters is basically going to be hyper mode with clever rats ring, Morian blade, and then I'm going to have a uh, ring of magical sharpness and monk's head wrapping, and basically just try to soul arrow them down as quickly as possible. I think that's the safest and most effective way to do as much damage as you quickly can. And yes, that definitely looks like pure black. But just to be a hundred percent sure, I'll do a one more suicide in Tower Latcher, then I'm pretty sure that will be definitely pure black. I'm pretty sure it is right now, but just for the sake of it. Why not? No reason not to, really. Just making sure. Okay, that should do it. Alright, now to try and beat this level. I'm gonna tr actually try to fight most of the enemies here. I'll uh, just solar them from a safe distance. Uh, if I'm in hyper mode and I do enough damage, it should get the job done. Should being the keyword. Although it might not be worth fighting the gargoyles, I don't know. 
Hmm, maybe... Uh, now nah, I'm kind of torn on this. Let's see here, so... Get rid of those... Do I want to try this? You know what? Why not? Let's give it a shot. So I'm going to get in hyper mode. So that, yeah, but that means no thieves ring. Or I take that off and have no extra second chance, which seems like a bad idea. I don't think Morian Bladed alone will get the job done. Yeah, it'd probably be better just to do this the normal way, actually. I'll just, uh,. See if my dragon short sword plus five can get the job done. Let's see. Da, 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 da. My, I could still use Soul Ray if I need to, but let's see how the dragon short sword does me. It's a good weapon. I could use the northern regala, but I don't know. I'm feeling this kind of right now. Alright, I'm just gonna try and run from the gargoyles. They're very annoying to fight. Alright, yeah, I have not hit any of the checkpoints. Thiefering always so good for the pretty much every level in this game. This is a definite one because usually the gargoyles, you know, they stop chasing you in a matter of seconds. And I'm not surprised they got rid of it in Dark Souls because it makes the game so much easier. And I only, I could easily imagine areas especially early on in Dark Souls, where if you had a Thief Ring, it'd make it so much easier where enemies normally can swarm you. If you had a Thief Ring, just, just run away. They'll, look, they'll leave you alone. This part can be tricky if they stay on you, because you got to wait for the elevator while they're attacking you. And I always forget what... Oh, God. Like, right there. This could be bad. Oh, boy. That could be bad. That could be bad. And I always forget... Gosh, darn it. Well, let's just hope that they don't try and kill me. Because I'll probably die if they do. It's very tricky to defend yourself here without falling off ledges and not getting hit. Alright, I got lucky. Getting lucky is always helpful. I'd rather be lucky than be skillful, right? Oh, and there's one flying right behind me, trying to hit me. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow, my damage is not particularly good. Three hits to kill one of these guys. It's not a good sign. Oh, okay, two, two hits with R2. Yeah, there we go. Got this now. For now, I'm just going to leave your in the cell because... There's no point in freeing him right now. I don't have pure black character tendency, so I can't do the... Uh, what's her name? Festifeli's quest or whatever it's called. So there's really no point. And uh, there's no point risking my NPCs to him, so I'm just going to leave him there. If I want... Actually, I can never do that quest again, really, because after killing all the unique black phantoms, I've gotten my character tendency farther to the white. So I either have to kill all the M regular NPCs again... But then again, the rewards are pretty meaningless for me now. I already have a Talisman of Beast, which I can't use. I have Colorless Demon Souls that I don't really need, so there's no point. I don't think there's any character tendency-based stuff. Like, I don't think killing my festivities actually makes any significant change. I could be wrong, because I haven't done that quest that many times. Like, I've done it occasionally, but I've never actually, like, you know, gone super in-depth into what the actual effects are on you. Oh wow, this is not good. I do no damage. Should have got the regala out, but oh well. I guess right now I'll just focus on getting the shortcut. Oh boy. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, be Jesus. This is... This is going really badly. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dumbest idea ever! Okay, uh, uh. I think those guys are slow. Oh god. Oh my god, that worked? Yeah, he's not even chasing me. Wow. Wow. Well, when in doubt, run like a coward. I forgot that there'd be BPs there. I really, I totally did. I can't even remember the last time I actually did this level in pure black. So now I know. That part actually does get somewhat more challenging when you can't actually kill anything. Oh god, my damage is so bad. Well, can always chain back to them. Just hope I don't screw up. It only takes six backstabs to kill a guy. Got this. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, what now, boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. I think that's fresh spice, I'm guessing. Okay, so there's going to be a bunch of dudes here. I really don't want to be forced to run because I'll probably die. I'd like to actually be able to do this the right way. <laughs> yeah, because if I get stuck at the elevator, I'm screwed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's try Soul Ray because this is sad. <laughs> like, that's just not gonna work. Like, yeah, I gotta hit them from. Alright, this would probably be a better idea. Oh, maybe not. Uh, well, the idea is if I stun him right now, I can run in and get my hits in while he's. Yeah, see, that actually kind of works because now I have full stamina. Get that, get that damage in. Okay, alright, I might have a strategy. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, I should have switched first to get that extra 10% mana. Okay. Alright, it works on the little ones really well. They have less magic defense. Or just less HP in general. Or both, who knows. And they don't seem to even try to come at you. They just die. Okay, that works. That works for me. That's very fine. Alright, so Thief Shuring, do your stuff. Alright, I'd like to be able to lure this one out first. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I actually do have a pretty nasty goal. Wait, is he literally... Oh, okay, there he goes. Alright, I'm gonna try all magic right here, because that stun does give me enough time to do what I need to do. Yeah, that actually works fine. He's done. Alright, okay, you can just cheap him out with magic, like always. The rule of Demon Souls, when in doubt, spam magic. Because it breaks the game. And it's why this game is so much easier than Dark Souls, although this could be tricky. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I don't need the gecko. <coughs> but I'm gonna kill him anyway. Uh, actually, I'm not, because I'm not gonna waste. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there attacking him for five hours. Alright, so if I can just get past. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, thanks, pure black character tendency. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Well. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, did he lose sight of me? Nope. Oh, crap. He's fast. Faster than the regular ones. Oh, but he doesn't have good vision. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty pathetic right here. Can barely hurt this guy. It's a good thing I killed the squid guy, or else this could be pretty tricky. Oh, Jesus, I hope I have enough room to retreat.
Is he stuck? Oh my god. Really? Hey, do what you need. Oh, I hope that didn't uns Oh, yes, it did. He's gonna come after me now. Or not. Oh my god, what? Really? He's just gonna protect. He doesn't know where I am. Are you kidding me? Alright, this is probably a bad idea, but let's see what happens. Alright, he can't do anything. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do to beat this game on the hardest possible setting. Well, pretty much. I guess you could run a non-level thief or something stupid, but F that. <laughs> like, I was actually thinking about how you would do that, and it would just be a nightmare. Because <laughs> that class really is really badly set up for soul level 1, or just a base character in general. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, elevator. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. One hit kill through my block. Jesus Christ. If I had died right there... Oh my god. I had been so angry. Like, you would not even believe. After all that... Is it? Yes! Alright. Shortcut. Alright. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now to get killed by <laughs> the eaters, probably pretty pathetically too. I'll try, but it's probably not going to go so well. First attempts rarely do, especially when you haven't played the game in a very long time like I have. It's been uh, quite a while since I played Demon Souls, which is just not good. That's not how a person should be. You should be playing this game all the time. Or Dark Souls, whatever. Oh, please leave me alone, Gargoyle. What is he doing? <laughs> it was actually a... Oh, Jesus. Run, 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 run. Alright, I think I'm okay. I kind of wasted my stamina badly there, but I think I got it. Although the BP Mind Flayer will probably be tough because I do no damage and it's kind of hard to get backstabs on that staircase. Always facing the wrong way, that's what you want to happen. Now the idea is to just run past him and not get hit. Oh shit, but my stamina was terrible. Oh god! Run! Okay, I think I got it. Because he doesn't quite chase you all the way to the top. Alright, that actually went a lot easier than I thought I would get it. Okay, the moment of truth where I will inevitably get destroyed in the first attempt. <coughs> Alright, so the idea is first to wear the Makoto, get HP into... I don't need Thief Ring, obviously, so where's Clever Rat's Ring? <coughs> wear that until my health gets the appropriate amount. Um... So I'm actually going to take off my Miracle Ring, so I c it means I can't recast Second Chance. And I'm going to put on the Ring of Magical Sharpness. Yes. I'm going to wear the Monk's Head Wrapping. And once my Clever Rats Ring and Morian Blade activate, which I will switch the Morian Blade on off the Makoto. And then I will spam spells and hope I don't die. Which probably will happen, but oh, whatever. 
I actually don't even need the Talisman of God because I will not even have a miracle in which to cast. So I could actually just put Morion Blade right there, and I could put anything I want here, but there's not really anything I'd use. Buckler plus 10 is not going to help. I'd probably just leave the Makoto there just in case, like, I don't know, a second chance gets triggered and I want to, like, get back in my remote and run away for a while, which I guess I c would be the best thing to do, although not exactly easy. The end goal is to just not get hit at all, but, yeah, easier said than done. Oh boy, I'm getting nervous. This is not an easy fight. Especially at soul level 1, new game plus 7. Yeah, come on, Makoto, can't you kill me faster? <laughs> I'm going to have to start bringing two of them. I think I could do that, one in each hand, although I don't even have the, like, the... I'd have to wear the item burden ring, I think. Equip burden ring or whatever. One of the two, I don't know. <clears throat> Actually, no, because I have to like, leave one behind you. Yeah, ask you that. <laughs> Probably why I never did it. Too much trouble. Alright, I gotta be close. HP at 98. I think it's at like around 50 or so it activates. Jesus, god damn it. Da 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 da. Before it's got to be close. Come on, there we go. All right, so I have the Morian blade equipped. Six hundred seventy-six attack power. All right, here goes nothing. Watch, I'll get hit immediately in freaking rage.